Hey folks, welcome back. I have your home prices and insights for York Region for week ending March the 9th, 2022. We've said it a few times now, things are changing. You're hearing there's a market shift, things are changing. Uh, what does that mean? Well, I, I'm going to double down on what I've been saying over some of the, the previous episodes. We're seeing, well, one property, uh, and I'm talking about, this is, happens to be in Woodbridge. One property two weeks ago had an offer night. It was priced at just under $2 million with an offer night. Didn't get any offers and now it's relisted at 1788. They're looking for a little bit more than that, but it's going to sell somewhere around one eight and a half, just under one nine, but way off from the two million plus they thought they were going to get. And that property now has been on the market uh, a little over two weeks in, in total from the, the when it was listed for the offer night and, and after when it was relisted. So there's an opportunity there. And it's a nice house on a ravine lot. Nice house. We're seeing more and more of that right across. And it's starting to show in the numbers. You're going to see that months of inventory is up right across the board. You're going to see that prices are down. I'm giving away some of our, our data that we're going to talk about, I know, but it's starting to show in the numbers. Now, prices have not fallen off a cliff and there's still many, many situations where you have your price, you have your offer night and things go extremely well the way it was planned, but there's more and more and more properties that are not working out when it comes to offer night and many more traditionally priced properties because that's just the shift. Now, is it because we're in March break season and there's a lot of sellers who just don't want to have their property on the market in March break and we are starting to see more listings and we expect more listings on the other side of March break. All of this is playing into the market is not on the upward tra trajectory like it was before. It's now kind of teeter-tottering a bit and there's some opportunities where people can buy prices a little bit lower than what they can buy just four weeks ago. If you think this information is going to help somebody you know, please pass this along. Let's get into the numbers. If you need help with your real estate situation or you just want to talk real estate, it's really simple to get a hold of me. In the link below this video, in the description, there's a link to my calendar. Click on that, book a time that's convenient for you. This way I'll know ahead of time and I'll make sure I'm organized so I'm able to talk to you about whatever's on your mind. Oh, and consider subscribing below to this channel. In the next few weeks, we're introducing some new and exciting things. And if you subscribe, you'll be notified when, when these new videos come up. Okay, so we're talking about York Region. Prices are down across the board. Let's start with the first example. We've got Vaughn Detached Properties. Sales are down by three from the previous week. We sold 53 sales last week. We're we're looking for sales to go up, but, but they're not. They're going down. We sold 53 detached properties. 19 were at $2 million or more, but you know, the previous th three weeks, like we were at 29, 33, 31, we're down to 19 in one week of $2 million or more. And average sold price has come down for a couple of weeks now. Aver it's just, just over 2 million bucks at 2 million and 15,000 for the average detached property in Vaughn. Now, I don't want to come across like, wow, you can get homes for free now. I mean, because we're still way above where we were just a year ago, but prices are looking like they're coming down slightly. We're 16% higher than what it was last year at this time. And the median price is 21% higher than what it was a year ago. Looking at the sales, still very competitive. 54 were sold, 91% of those sold at list price or more. The blue, that's last year's sales figures, were way behind what we were buying last year at this time. Listings up slightly from the previous week, but not by much. We're, we're looking for more listings and 
the, the, the time just before March break or even March break itself, it's, it's, it's kind of like a transition time. There's lots of people that have their kids at home. They don't want to have their home on the market or they're using this time to, to travel so they don't want their home on the market while they are around or they have guests or they're getting their home ready during this time when, when maybe both husband and wife are at home and they got extra time without going to work. They're getting their home ready. So we're expecting more listings the other side of March break. And months of inventory, here's where you start to see some of the changes. We're at 0 0.8, so months of inventory is up from the previous week. As months of inventory go up, normally we see prices coming down. So months of inventory is up to 0 0.8. And when we look at over the last few weeks, well, just four weeks ago, February 9th, months of inventory was 0 0.4. It's now double that at 0 0.8. I know it's not a huge change, but it's a change that is looking to calm down prices, or that's what we're seeing. Let's look at Richmond Hill. Sales also came down. We're at 44 sales now. 17 of those are at $2 million or more, which is also down quite a bit from the previous week. And average sold price is down from the previous week. It's now at 2 million and 55. Now 2 million and 55, it's 21% higher than what it was a year ago, and median price is 13% higher than what it was a year ago. Of the 44 that sold, 75% sold at list price or more. Last year, 78% sold at list price or more. Listings, look, we listed a little bit more than what we did the previous week. 92 detached properties were listed but it's not a lot. It's not a, a lot to move the, the needle significantly, but just a little bit. So months of inventory is up now. It's sitting at one month of inventory. One month is a huge difference from say, half a month, a 0.5 or 0.4 months of inventory. And we can see that days on market now is sitting at 13. Let's look at Markham, similar story. Sales are down. We sold only 40 detached properties across Markham. 19 were at $2 million or more. And average sold price has come down from the previous week, sitting now at $2 million. And 2 million and 28 is 21% higher than what it was last year. And median price is also 21% higher. Looking at those 40 sales, 88% sold at list price or more. Last year was 82%, very similar. Listings down from the previous week. 92 were listed and months of inventory is sitting at 1.1 months of inventory. Now sometimes when you look at this at a weekly basis, the changes are incremental. They're very small changes week to week. But if you just go, if we go back two weeks, we see that months of inventory went from 0 0.6 to 1.1 that's a significant change in just a short period of time. So we're seeing that change and we're seeing it in prices as prices kind of start to calm down a little bit. That's the detached market. Condo market, a little bit different. Sales are up. We, list, we sold 88 condos last week across York region. Average sold price is at a new record, 826,000. It's a completely different show when it comes to condos versus detached. So 826 is the new record price, 32% sold at list price or more. Last year at this time, we sold no property, no condos at a million dollars or more. This week we sold nine of them. Median price is 27% higher than what it was last year at this time. Of the 88 that sold, 86% sold at list price or more. At this time last year, 58% were selling at list price or more. So it's a big, big difference. It's a whole different buying or selling experience. 58% selling at list price or more versus now at 86%. Listings are way up from the previous week. We listed 168 condos last week. Months of inventory sitting at 0 0.6 and 7 is the average days on market. So when I say prices are coming down, we're starting to see more opportunities. That's for the detached market. Condos operating very different. Here's a summary. Months of inventory is up across the board.
but what's really where the big changes are are in the detached market. Hope you found this information helpful. Again, if you want to talk about real estate, it's really simple. In the link below this uh, video, there's a link that, in the description below this video, there's a link to my calendar book of time. Have a great day.